Good morning. It's Hippie Dave in the South. Getting time for an update on the Yellow Jacket. Uh, yesterday took a test drive on it. Kind of scary without brakes. But anyhow, I'm going to get right to it here. Now, of course, it's not finished. I've had the craziest luck with these tires. They're brand new. Yesterday is the first day it's been drove. Uh, this tire had been going low consistently after I rode it yesterday. Now it's holding air. And the other tire that was holding air consistently, now it's going down. So I don't know what that crazy shit is, but they're brand new. They're going back. Uh, you have them check them out for me again because we got brand new tires. And brand new rims there's no reason it should be doing that all right so i still have what you left to, uh to mount the hood and uh, the way this pipe is down here on the exhaust now for those who didn't see it on a, a photo post on the west coast mud mowers southern mud mowers or made mud mowers this is an old set of uh 350 chevy headers here's where i got them curved pieces out yeah, it makes for a really light exhaust. This uh, entire exhaust system probably weighs about the same as a foot and a half of one inch iron pipe. Maybe less. And it's stretched out over the whole length. The motor runs good. I had some carburetor troubles yesterday, but it cleared itself out. A little trash in the bowl. This is a real fill filter. It's automotive style. See-through uh, come from O'Reilly's. It's about the same price as a little tiny filters that they sell you for a lawnmower and those ain't worth the crap. Now, I'm gonna do a cold start here in a moment. But this ball bearing steering, that you can see the lower retainer down there. Uh, the bearing is an inch three-eighths by five-eighths commonly used as a high-speed wheel bearing uh, The sir clip is left on there because it keeps it inside the flange Now once the flange is bolted down and of course up top Is bolted down also and you can see I have a locking collar there Now what I'm going to do to improve this is I'm going to put some structural bracing across this top right here to keep out this flex after riding it a little bit it does have a little bit of play there the collar needs to be adjusted and part of that reason is is uh is this just isn't very thick steel you can see I have the uh, I have the MST uh, 205 that I put together. It's actually two transmissions together to make one. There's the exhaust pipe. There's 22 by 11 by 8s, 20 by 7 at by 8s on the front. I've got a 7 inch pulley on the back, and I've got a five and a half inch on the front. There's a new automotive type starter relay. I stripped out most of the excess wiring in the stock harness and just used it for the time being when I add on lights and stuff like that. Then uh, I'll be adding a little more wiring. Charging system works. The motor sat up for 15 months and it pretty much started right up. I'm trying to find my key. It would do a cold start and you can hear the tone of this thing. I don't imagine uh, a Tigger will stay on that seat too long once I crank this thing up. Starter doesn't sound too good. Probably have problems with it. I'm looking for a replacement. But here we go. Start. 
first off might help. Well, I did turn on the gas. All right. cold anyhow still a work in progress as it goes uh, these right here turn that wheel as you can see these things have really short turning radiuses so I have to make a few mods here uh, what I'm basically going to do, if the axle flexes, which I am going to leave that flex in there, uh, it hits here and the knobs catch up under this brace. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this piece on both sides straight across and put a piece of angle iron there. And I'm probably going to face the angle iron up instead of down. That way it still gets the bracing. If the knobs do come close to hitting it while the wheel is turned, uh, it's going to slide rather than grab and peel off my tread, which can't have that. Uh, there's still flop in the tie rods. Tie rod ends, I'm going to have to change that out. And I found a, a place for them. Now I'm going to go with the same type of ball joint. This is half inch. Actually, this is 5 8 rod right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them back, weld a uh, half inch fine threaded grade 8 bolt to it. And then I'll have adjustable tie rod ends, at least on that end, is all I think I need them. And I can pull that toe back in line. Uh, the bushings up front will need to be replaced. I have some brass, <coughs> excuse me, bronze, manganese, whatever they are to replace those nylons but I do have some nylons in order anyway because I'm going to have to do some modification to get the brass ones in there but anyway there it is that's where we're at right now of course the paint job is going to come later and when I do the paint job then you'll know why I'm calling it the yellow jacket hippie out <laughs>